and join me for this 15 minute walking workout around Vienna. So let's get going and what I want you to be doing is just you are walking at home and just think of it like this, you are coming on this virtual walking and toning adventure with me around the beautiful Vienna. So this first part, just simply march on the spot at home. If you've got enough room, just walk around the room and just take in the beautiful view of this incredible city. We're going to do stop off at certain points and do an odd little bit of toning, but let's just keep moving. So the idea is just follow along. It's just something a little bit different. All right, that's good. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to walk over here and then we're going to have a go at doing a little toning move. So just follow along, just mimic what I'm doing. So just come into a split stance and then you're just going to do this knee lift, come up, step the foot back and just join in. Just have fun. This is just a fun way to just get moving at home and you can just take in all the beautiful views from here. So drive that knee up, keep those tummy muscles tight as you do it. So we filmed this really early. I think it was about half past six in the morning because it gets very, very busy. That's good. And draw that knee up. That's it. Keeping that going. So this is a really lovely toning move for your lower body as well as working through your arms and through your abs. Keeping that nice and strong. Step that knee forwards and then bring that back. All right, that's good, keeping that going. And this really lovely way to just focus on doing a full body move. So let's get going and we're just gonna walk again. So while you're at home now, you can march on the spot. You can just, just keep moving, walk around the room. Just imagine just for this little bit, for 15 minutes while you're at home, just imagine you are now in Vienna and you are taking control of your health while you're at home. And then I'm gonna occasionally show you a quick little photo so you can just see how beautiful the location was. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna carry on just doing a quick little march. And I think what we'll do, let's do a little bit of toning for your abdominals. So with this one, just stand with your feet slightly wider than hip width distance apart, knees are slightly bent, and just give me a side reach from one side to the other. So this now, just working through your waist, through your abs, and you can just see how clean this city is. It was absolutely stunning. It's steeped in history. If you haven't been, I definitely recommend going. All right, that's good. And just reach from one side to the other. So you're doing a little bit of sightseeing and sculpting at the same time. Reach across, knees stay slightly bent, tummy muscles pulled in tight. That's good, keeping that going. And reach across from one side to the other. Doing really well. It's so important always to keep a strong core. So if you're ready, let's take it now straight back to a march. So we're just going to walk. And while you're at home, just keep those feet going. March on the spot or walk from one end of the room to the other. Keeping that nice and strong. That's good. And there are so many little just beautiful spots here. It's so nice. And just add in those arms while you're doing that walk as well. If you're doing your marching on the spot, really swing through with the arms, keeping that going. That's good. And the idea is we're then going to do a little bit more toning. We'll do some more for the upper body. But the idea is just to keep you moving. And second time, if you want to, remember, you can always mute me. Just put on some nice music. I think you need classical music. And that was the view that I could see just from there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to work your upper body. So if you have, lean into either a work surface, wall, sofa, and let's just do some press up. So these are really good to help just build strength through your upper body. Be sure to just keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight so you're working through the core. So you're just leaning in and then push back up. So your hands are nice and wide. And this really works back of the upper arms, works through your shoulders, works through your chest. It also really engages your core. You can just see how incredible this view was here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it back to a march now and just do a good march power that out on the spot. That was the view from there, just so you can see. 
So what we're going to do now, let's add in some arms while you're marching at home or while you're walking on the spot. Just take your arms directly above your head. So just follow along what I'm doing on here. And this is just going to help increase your heart rate a little bit more. And also the other thing, if you wanted, you could do this seated and just follow along. Just march your feet seated and just add in the arms. You know, make this workout work for you. It's a little bit different from everything else, but it's good to have variety. As I said, it's the spice of life. So let's just keep going, taking those arms up and draw them down. All right, so what we're gonna do along this green path here, we're just gonna take that back to a fast walk now. So while you're at home, I want you to march it out really, really fast. And if at any point you want to, you can take that to a little bit of a light jog on the spot. So let's just keep going. And again, you can see how quiet it was here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cross over the road and we're gonna go up here because this is beautiful and there's a lovely fountain at the top. And because we're going up a hill, I want you now to walk even faster. If you're marching on the spot, take those knees even higher. If you're doing a little jog, then just jog a little bit faster. And again, you can see what I mean, how clean this city is, absolutely stunning all the way to the top. This bit was really steep. So keep going. And then once we've got to the top, we're gonna to do a little bit more sculpting and toning. And just keep marching that out. So this time in a split stance, arms in front, I just want you to drive your knee up. So this one here, another really lovely core move, just working arms, working through the lower body. And think of all the different joints we're working here, working your elbow joint, your shoulder joint, your knee joint, your hip joint. Change legs for me now. And again, just drive that knee up. So we're just having odd little sculpting in between doing the walking. And you can see we're really lucky with the weather. It's actually really hot. We filmed this in July and um, it was about 40 degrees later in the day drawing the knee up, keep those tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. So just march out and just come with me and have a quick little look over here. Look how stunning this is. And there's so many statues and waterfalls like this. All right, so now let's bring it straight back to a walk. And what we'll do, let's have some fun in this park and we're gonna go for doing these bicep curls. We'll do 10 of these while you're walking or marching on the spot. Once you've done 10, what we're then gonna do is change the move slightly and let's take it 10 of these a shoulder press. So just keep that going. And by adding the arms up, just means we're working your heart rate a little bit harder. So we're getting fitter, we're getting stronger. Now let's go for eight. We'll do eight of these bicep curls. That's good. And we're still working the legs. And then we're gonna take it eight where we're taking the arms up and just focus on just walking nice and fast or keep marching, drawing those knees up, take it to four sets with those bicep curls or six <laughs> and that's good and take it six shoulder press for me now. That's good, so working through the shoulders then let's go for a set of four, working a little bit more through your biceps and take it up, four, go three, take it two and then well done. All right, that's good. So let's just keep that going. Now we're back to doing a bit of sculpting. So this time I want you just to step one foot behind and just open out with the arms. So this one is really lovely to help just improve your posture. And again, you can just see how wonderful all these streets are, the cobbled streets, these beautiful old buildings, and just squeeze that leg behind. So this one here, we're really activating through your glutes. We're working through the chest. Open up nice and wide. So this one really lovely just to enhance your posture, open up through those tight chest muscles. All right, that's good. Let's just take it back to a walk. And there are so many just lovely, just hidden little churches and all these little alleyways. So let's just keep going. So march out. Remember, you're just walking. You're just following along to the move that I'm doing. And all this stone is a similar colour as well, which I think is so lovely. So what we're going to do now, let's just do a bit more marching on the spot. Let's work those arms. And this time now, let's just go for doing these pushes in front. So this one here, working a little bit more now through the chest, but we're still working cardiovascularly, taking that heart rate up 
and also this means we're working the core. Let's just push those arms back up because we know that this increases the intensity. And just look how beautiful this little streak is. Reach it up and back down. Extend those arms all the way up and back. All right, that's good. And let's just keep going. And there are so many really stunning doors here as well. And this one was so pretty. I had to take a photo to show you that one. All right, that's good. So we're gonna to walk to the end here. And definitely it's such a beautiful city. We couldn't cover it all in one day. So we're either gonna go left or right. I think we're gonna go up here and we're gonna do a bit more toning. So this time, let's just go for doing a little leg lift, take it out to the side, keep the knees slightly bent. Just focus here on keeping those core tummy muscles tight and you can see that blue sky. So it's starting to get really warm now. And again, look how quiet. Two hours later, this market was full and they were selling lots of apricots. It's a season for apricots out there. All right, that's good. And this one here is really great for working those outer thigh muscles, also activates the inner thighs. Just go from one side to the other. And we've already been walking for over 10 minutes now. So this area here, we're just gonna do a little bit of a skater's lunge. And this is where they've got the Spanish riding school, which is definitely worth a visit if you go there. It's absolutely stunning. And just reach the arm across from one side to the other. That's it, nice, big, powerful move, keeping that going. This one here, really lovely dynamic. So this one also is sculpting, but as well as getting that heart rate up, and if you've enjoyed this one, don't forget, I have got a couple of other walking workouts like this filmed in Venice and Paris as well. So what we're gonna do now, let's do a little bit more toning. And this one, we're just gonna do a step back. So it's a step back lunge. And you can just see all these beautiful statues here. This is quite close to where they have the Royal Opera House and just open up with the arms, step that foot back, alternating each step that you take back. And this one here, really powerful lower body move. So you're just joining in, we're just having a little bit of fun. As I said, this is a very different style workout, but it's nice to change things up and just keep going. So you're at home, you're just following in what I'm doing. So we're just doing that step back a lunge, just getting that heart rate up and just having a little look at this beautiful location. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna walk up here and we've actually got some stairs we're gonna go up. So if you want to, pretend you're running up the stairs with me now. So take that heart rate up. Let's just go a little bit faster, fast as you can. So you can take this to a little bit of a jog at home or just march it out really fast. Let's just keep going. This is my friend Michael that filmed it, as you can see. He's super fit, running up the stairs and holding the camera at the same time. All right, that's good. And um, what we're gonna do now, we're just going to find this beautiful location. So to your right, that is the Opera House. And what we'll do, let's lean into a wall. So while you're at home, lean into a wall or a sofa and let's just do these knee drives. So this one here is really good to just work through your abs, through your knees and just keeping that going. So it's a little bit of a different move. As said, you could do this leaning into the wall, sofa, just or some solid surface. Draw that knee up. That's good, keeping that going. And we've nearly finished today's workout. So let's just keep that going. And we're just gonna take it back to a little bit of a walk. And again, just look at this, an amazing greenhouse here had incredible plants in it as well. Just walking nice and fast. So march at home, just keep going. This one, the many palaces, there are just so many palaces. It's, and you can see we were so lucky now with the weather. And if you do go, definitely set that alarm, get up at six in the morning so you are out by half past six and you will have Vienna all to yourself. So what we're gonna do now, let's just keep marching, let's keep going, take those knees nice and high if you're marching on the spot, if you're walking at home, let's just keep going, walk from one end of the room to the other or you can march out on the spot. That's 
good. And where we've walked, this is all about sort of 10, 15 minutes each location. So this one here now, let's just do a little bit more toning. Let's just go for doing a hamstring curl. Just draw the arms in and just alternating from one leg to the other. And we've nearly finished today. Let's just keep going. You can just see all these stunning white flowers. It was a beautiful church here and the day before they had a lovely wedding here. And just keep that knee nice and soft so we're just bending through. So that is the workout complete. And what I would say is just bring that march now, really slow it down. I'm just going to share with you some behind the scenes and um, we'll just slowly get your heart rate down. So that was obviously arriving at Vienna. And then this was one of the many different palaces that we went to visit. There are so many palaces and you've got all the cathedrals. There's a real hustle and bustle and obviously lots of different restaurants. But I would definitely say if you go, do visit the Spanish Riding School. It was incredible. Incredible. It's such a stunning building, so much history there. We didn't get to see any of the um, horses perform because a lot of them were on their summer holidays, which I love because they really care for them. Um, so definitely go there. And what I would say, the other thing when you're in Vienna, you have to eat the apple strudel because it is incredible. So if you want to do a cool down stretch with me, click up in the right hand corner now. And thank you to Michael for doing the photography. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.